What's going on guys? I'm with Moose and today we have new Team of the Week players and sets in the game. Of course it is Monday so of course we have some new Team of the Week items and stuff. And uh, first up Week 6 Lamar Miller and also Week 6 Dante Hightower are the players this week. 90 overall for Dante Hightower, right outside linebacker of course, and 90 overall for Lamar Miller. Now one thing to note about this Lamar Miller card is that basically almost all of his stats are just one better than his BCA card that came out just three or four days ago. So be aware of that. If you want this Lamar Miller, you know, I understand that completely, but you can get a very similar player, you know, like I said, just one lower in almost every single stat in that BCA player. So if you're trying to save some coins, go get that player. But we got Brandon Cooks, Derek Johnson, Jay Ajayi, and Cliff Averill. Ajayi went off that game. Uh, absolutely crazy that the Dolphins beat the Steelers. That was a uh, kind of a ridiculous game. Brandon Cooks is probably the highlight card of this set just because of the speed, 93 speed. Always got to love that with Brandon Cooks. A very, very nice um, you know, receiver on the outside for you. The only problem is he is a little bit short, but hey, uh, you can probably deal with that with the speed. Other cards, not really too hyped up about, not gonna lie, but um, the hero this week is is absolutely insane. The limited time hero, I really should say, is absolutely ridiculous, and everybody pretty much knew who it was gonna be. Of course, it's Odell Beckham Jr. He had a, a tremendous game yesterday, I think over 220 yards receiving, and two touchdowns as well, um, and both touchdowns were huge in the game, obviously, so he's going for 850,000 coins. That's ridiculous. Um, now, I do want to point out that his chemistry is not that useful, in my personal opinion. Of course, the New York Giants chemistry could be um, you know, useful if you have a bunch of different Giants players that also have that chemistry, but the playmaker chemistry, to me personally, I don't think that's that great. Now, the ability says uh, gives player faster cuts on playmaker moves directed from the quarterback, so Unless I'm, you know, mistaken, that is when you use the playmaker ability, and um, that's not that easy to use, at least in my experience. Maybe you guys are really good with the playmaker. Um, you know, I personally suck with it. I think it's, you know, really hard to use. Uh, but maybe you guys are really good with it. If you are, then this card probably is nasty. But in general, I don't think that's that great of a chemistry. But Regardless, the card's very good at, uh, nonetheless. 90 speed, 92 catch, 94 spec catch, 92 route running, 89 catch in traffic. You can go on and on. All great stats, and Odell is looking like a great receiver. One of the better ones in the entire game. Only problem with him, also kind of like Brandon Cooks, not that tall, but he does have you know great spec catch, great jumping, things like that. So he should be fine even without um, you know the crazy height. So very cool card, very nice to see that. And like I said, he's in packs for 48 hours. So definitely go and get him in the store right now. We have a couple new packs. Of course, Team of the Week packs in the game. They give you uh, one Team of the Week player from the current week and one Team of the Week player from any week. And also gives you, I think, four other golds and some other crap that you get. Uh, the Bundle Topper is going to be two gold or better Team of the Week players. Not that great, in my opinion. And then we also have BCA Offense Ribbon Packs, which gives you two gold or better BCA Offense players. And then three, gold or, or three silver or better BCA Offense players and a bunch of other items. So nothing too crazy. I'm not really sure if there's any bundles for the uh, BCA. Yes, there is, actually. So the bundle gives you 10 of those packs and also 5 gold or better BCA offense players. To me, not really that worth it, but uh, you guys can go for it if you want, you know, if you're interested in uh, doing that. Now, I do want to mention before we start opening some packs that definitely play your solos, the Team of the Week solos in the game right now. You uh, get a collectible for a Team of the Year player at the end of the year, and then you also get a Team of the Week player um, for the final solo. There's two solos that came out today, so definitely play those um, when you hop on today. So... Let's get it. We got a couple pro packs and an all pro pack from the journey. Still rocking through the journey. I'm super busy, but I'm trying to get through everything I can. I'm trying to play some MLB, trying to play Madden, trying to get you guys content, trying to do my schoolwork, which is obviously important as well. So, uh, you know, a bunch of different stuff going on, and uh, that's basically what we're doing. So, um, like I said, just getting through the journey. It's it's getting done. I think I'm at like 100 games or so out of 160. So we'll get there eventually, but uh, you guys will see me opening these packs kind of, you know, intermittently every once in a while as I earn them. I'll probably just save them and open them up in videos like this. So we got an all pro pack now. Let's get it. We'll probably open a few pro packs, a single pro packs as well to see if we can get that Odell Beckham Jr. See if we can get our first 48 hour pull of the year. Three golds right off the bat. And then a Jimmy Ward as a bonus one. Hey, actually, I'll take that. Clay Matthews, two sacks collectible. Probably not going to go for too much, but I'll take it. An insert is an insert, and uh, we will take that for sure. So that's kind of funny, though. Um, definitely was not expecting a flashback. Um, I, I wouldn't say flashback pull, but a flashback collectible pull. Still kind of cool. So let's get it, though. A few pro packs. You know, nothing too crazy in this pack opening because, obviously, Odell is is cool. But the honestly, the rest of the Team League drop this week nothing too exciting at least on my end maybe you guys are excited about brandon cooks obviously with the speed or something like that but in general i don't think it's that amazing get an anquad bolden right here he had a good game yesterday from what i know 
I think he had a touchdown, uh, if I remember correctly. I remember looking on fantasy and seeing that he scored, I think. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. Also, I, how could I forget? The Cowboys played an amazing game yesterday against the Packers. That was a fun one to watch. Ezekiel Elliott, Dak Prescott going off again and uh, really looking good. Hey, Tim Brown, legend pull right here. Legend training pull, not too bad, 82 overall. I think I pulled this card like a week ago off camera, and I think it sold for like 35 or 40K, so that's pretty good. I'm pretty excited about that one. Not a bad pull, actually a very good pull. I shouldn't even say not a bad pull, a very solid pull for us. Just, uh, you know, it doesn't give us the elite flash, so maybe a little bit less hyped when we actually got it. But hey, I'll take it. That's a very nice pull for us, and will give us some coins for sure. So let's get like two more pro packs, I think. We'll get through this. But yeah, the Cowboys looking really good. I saw the Bleacher Report power rankings had them at number three. And I'm thinking a lot of other power rankings are going to have them at least top five, if not top three or top two. I was thinking the Patriots, in my personal opinion, are probably the only team I would say is uh, clearly better than the Cowboys right now would be the New England Patriots. But hey, you never know. I mean, power rankings are kind of an inexact science. And, uh, you know, they're just kind of fun to look at. Hey, Brandon McManus, that's not too bad. 91 kick power. Gotta love that. I actually might promote him to my starting kicker. I really haven't even looked at my kicker in a long time just because I really don't care that much. I mean... It's whatever to me, but uh, I guess McManus could be our new starting kicker. But final pack here, let's get it, and we get a Devontae Parker to end it out. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like down below. And let me know if you're excited for Odell, Lamar Miller, Dante Hightower, any of the other team of the week, guys. Let me know down in the comments down below. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.